Good morning, fellow members of the class of 2014. My name is Misty Diefenbach, and I'm from Port Angeles. I think it's safe to say that for me, and for most of us here today, the expression, good things come to those who wait, bears little meaning. Because for us, good things, the stuff that matters most, are forged in the fires of hard work. At one point or another, we've all recognized this to be true. We've recognized that our good things, the things that matter most to each of us, can only be accomplished by a tireless dedication and commitment to our futures. That realization was our barrier of entry to WGU Washington. That realization was pulling ourselves up by our bootstraps. It's as Chancellor Floton mentioned, not looking to the stars for our destiny, but taking control of our own outcomes. I will never forget the hour, the second, or the moment that I realized that I needed to do the hard work to get where I wanted to be. And I knew the only way to get there was by finishing my education. I knew that without an education, I would have to admit defeat to this world. I would have to acknowledge that the dreams I had for myself and for my children might never be realized. And that there was a real possibility that the me that I envisioned as a child might not be the me that I became as an adult. If there ever were a true success story, it would be mine. My husband and I were living on love in a small trailer in Idaho. We had just had our first son, Ace. Hi, Ace. Hi, Alex. Hi, Reed. Um, my husband was working at a local grocery store, and I was babysitting for a living. So needless to say, we weren't bringing in much of an income. Then I will never forget a moment that a utility worker knocked on my door in the dead heat of summer. We had fallen behind. She turned off our power that day. My son and I spent his afternoon nap in my car with the air conditioning on. The next day, I asked my mom, hi, mom, to pay my power bill. For those of you that have children, I'm sure that you can understand the disappointment and defeat I felt in those moments in my car. But as I did so, I came to a realization. It was my bootstraps moment, and a moment that changed the trajectory of my life. I made the decision to go back to school. I made the decision to put in the hard work I needed to provide a better future for my family. I made the decision to provide an example to my children, and someday to their children. I enrolled at WGU, where I completed my Bachelor's of Science in Human Resource Management. I, like you, was, I, was, I accelerated, I was motivated, I was excited, and I was ready to conquer the world. The month that I graduated, I was offered a position that paid double per capita income for the state of Washington. But my undergraduate degree wasn't enough. I continued on, and I attained my MBA in Management and Strategy the degree I'm celebrating with all of you here today. I'm also celebrating a new position, thanks in part to my new credential. I've just recently accepted an assistant superintendent of human resources position for a school district just across the water. Education is the greatest gift that we can give ourselves. Education has the capability of opening doors, which without it would never be possible. In my case, and I'm sure in most of yours, our education was more than a degree. It was a journey of self-discovery, a challenge that helped us realize our worth and our capabilities, and an example to those that we love that with enough hard work and dedication, we really can do and be anything if we want it badly enough. The gift of education has made my life so much sweeter, not just because of those with whom I share it, but because of the way that I can share it. Some days, I, like you, look back at these last few years and I feel superhuman. We owe that to our education, our, education, our perseverance, and our enduring commitment to our growth and learning. This accomplishment is just the beginning for us. Keep pulling yourself up by your bootstraps. Keep putting in the hard work, because it's then and only then that good things happen. Thank you and congratulations. We did it.